Hi guys, it is Aoife from Words of Clover and I am here to start what's going to be a nice little weekend reading vlog. So it is currently Friday morning, it is 10 to 10, so kind of turning into Friday early afternoon. As I'm going away with my friend this weekend, um, it is like the trip she got for me for my birthday. My birthday was in November, um, but obviously with COVID and everything, like getting trips for each other was always like a little bit of a, what if it doesn't happen? Um, so she booked it in May and we are going to go away for kind of a, it's kind of like a glamping weekend in a way, but it's going to be full of reading and books um, and hot tub and horse riding. And it's going to be amazing. It's basically like the perfect Aoife weekend. She knows me really, really well. So the two of us are going to go today. We're going to go down or up to uh, County Mayo in Ireland and I'm going to take you guys along with me. So I think this is going to be just a really, really lovely reading weekend. I wanted to check in as I have books here that I need to read or that I'm taking with me. Um, so I've actually on a completely clean sl slate right now. I finished both the books that I was reading. I don't think I'll be reading any audiobooks this weekend, but I'm bringing two physical books with me to bring. So the first one I'm bringing is Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. John Mandel. This is a book that is set in two different timelines. We are set, I think it's in the eight, 1900s, and um, we are following someone going from England to Canada. Uh, and then we are also following a character in like 2200 who lives on the moon and is traveling who, who lives on a moon colony, colony but is traveling um, around uh, earth on a book tour so we are following that um, and I think that author had written a book set during a pandemic before a pandemic which is kind of like you know Emily Emily's uh, own experience having written Station Eleven and then the one that I actually think I'm going to start with is Stargazer and that is by Laurie uh, Petru and this one and um, this is actually one I requested on Neck Alley um, a couple of weeks ago and publishers were really, were really nice and reached out to me and asked if I happened to like a physical copy of the book and I just really love like the whole like theme the, the cover and like the feel of this book so I was like yeah definitely I would love love a physical copy so that was sent to me and I got that this is actually a book about female friendship so it kind of feels nice to maybe read this while I'm on my trip with my best friend though I do think this one is like possibly toxic female friendship I'm not sure um but it is about a girl these neighbors who uh, end up going to college together it is set in 1995 and it's about these girls going to college and experiencing all these different things the ups and downs of their relationship um, but I think it's also kind of an intoxicating relationship it's very intense I think we're seeing how the the friendship like the cracks begin in the friendship and what they're going to do about that um, but yeah there's something about this one that is definitely calling my name at the moment so I think I will be picking this one up first and then if I happen to finish this one which I might not it kind of depends on how much reading we actually get done at the weekend and um, then I will pick up Sea of Tranquility but those are the two books that I'm going to be bringing and yeah I, I'm really looking forward to this weekend and bringing you guys along with me. So as you can see we are here now in our little hobbit hut uh, for the couple of nights and it is just so lovely and idyllic and yeah it's just really really nice it's a shame the weather isn't like a little bit nicer because it's quite windy and kind of raining on and off but even with that it is such just really really nice being here and we're already planning our next trip trip away together so yeah I haven't done any reading at all we've just been chatting and drinking a bit of wine and um having some nibbles and we're going to get ready soon and go out for dinner and find some nice places to eat and have a few drinks as well and I will maybe bring you along with me and I'll show you some bits and pieces and yeah we will see Hi guys, so full disclosure, it is now Monday morning and I pretty much didn't read at all during the weekend so I started this vlog off with such good intentions. I was going to have a great weekend with my friend and also get some reading done and I had a great weekend with my friend and we were just doing so much and just enjoying each other's company and just everything that we were doing that like we didn't even have any like downtime and sense of sitting around reading so um 
yeah it was the place where we, we where we were where it was lovely uh, we went out for a few drinks on the friday evening then on the saturday we went out exploring like kind of nearby the towns nearby we did like a horse track which was amazing that evening and um, we stayed around kind of the 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 glamping site i guess it's not really a camping site but the glamping site they had like a pizza oven and we made pizza and we played board games and uh, there was a fire pit so we made like s'mores and then we were just talking and chatting with um all the other people that were staying there so yeah it wasn't really like a solitary reading activity type of weekend um, and I didn't want to be the person who was reading um, while everyone else was chatting and having a good time you know that kind of way but I didn't really feel I didn't feel that need to pick up my book which I think is a good thing as well like I didn't want to be forcing myself to read or anything like that and I think um part of me was like oh well I just abandoned this vlog and not continue it but then I am really excited to like read this book and I want to read it and talk about it um but I also wanted to like acknowledge that sometimes you go away and you just don't read and like that's completely okay so yeah so I have the little like you've seen the little clips from my weekend away and what I'm going to do is just the next few days um just vlog while I read the rest of this and yeah um that's going to be that so I'm not as exciting um, as I was originally planning the vlog to be but that's just the way life goes sometimes. So I managed to read a little bit of this last night and a few pages this morning before work. I'm currently on page 44 and that's about six or seven chapters in. So I'm just kind of getting the lay of the land when it comes to this book and so far I'm really interested in it. So we are following two girls who when they are like teenagers going into college they become best friends but they've actually grown up next door to each other and before that they'd never really gotten to know each other. They'd hardly ever met before and the two girls have both kind of two different obviously very different personalities but also they both have like things going on in their life so we have diana who is an artist she was growing up she had a very controlling brother who was controlling but also borderline like abusive towards her in a way both emotionally and uh, physically at times as well so she never really went out uh, went out of her way to like make friends with anyone which is why she never really got to know Aral, her next door neighbor um until they were they were a little bit older and they were going to college together and then we also have Aral, who is the daughter of a very famous fashion designer and she is struggling with kind of having her own things in life and everything that she's doing is like connected to her family and to her to her parents and to particularly to her mother and while well, she has a lovely relationship with her mother and her parents are good people and her family are all good people she is kind of really struggling to break out and just be herself and have something just for herself and something that isn't always connected back to to uh, her you know her family her famous family so yeah we're seeing these two girls and we're kind of flashing back and forth between their first days in college um, as they're already best friends and they're kind of exploring their classes and then we're also kind of flashing back to when they're a little bit younger before they are properly friends and we're seeing kind of their different family dynamics and what's going on with the two of them and um I like the writing style I like the pace of it um I kind of really like the build up of like the, these family lives and these girls and um kind of their relationship together and the college bits at the moment which are kind of like the present day um is set in 1995 and I presume we're going to follow them throughout college and as they get older and just how their friendship maybe changes and evolves and all of that and how they both do different things with their lives and stay together and um, maybe kind of like a beaches kind of uh, a, a thing I'm not sure but yeah I, I'm really interested to keep um going with this one as I said and I just feel like I just have a good feeling about it so um I do want to continue reading it so I'm hoping to at least get about like halfway through this today so yeah I will let you guys know how I get on and yeah here's to not reading at the weekend but reading during the week instead hey guys it's Tuesday afternoon now so I thought I would update with how I've been getting on with Stargazer so I'm actually about at the halfway point now so yeah I am like here so yeah pretty much halfway um, and I'm into part two now and yeah so far this is just a very like I feel like it's a real introspective kind of character focused novel it definitely isn't like really plotty in any way there's not like one major theme or plot that's going on it's definitely just a real focus on the characters why they act the way they act and um, all of their motivators behind all of their decisions and um, their feelings towards each other yeah it's kind of like a slower paced and a more like introspective look and introspective type of story and um i really enjoy those type of stories so i am quite enjoying this and i feel like this is a really great sense of place so a lot of this is um taking place on this college camp campus that they um the two girls are going to and also we see that um, throughout their childhood, both of their families, they're both from kind of these rich, privileged uh, like backgrounds and you know they've never really had to, I guess, worry too much about like money or anything like that in their lives. And they, they kind of acknowledge that, but also, I mean, they, they also do have like those like rich girl problems in terms of like, 
their parents don't understand them and you know with with Arel it's you know it, everyone thinks about my mother when they think about me I can't escape from my mother's shadow because my mother is so famous and stuff like that which you know is a little bit eye rolly um but also you know each their own everyone has all kinds of problems too I've always been going on summer holidays um to this kind of lake town I guess where this college is now set which is where they are going to college so they're staying in like a family home rather than say like uh, like bunking in dorms or anything like normal college students and um, they kind of have this kind of slightly more mature grown-up version of like college life even though they're going to parties and doing drugs and do drink and all of those kind of things they're still partaking in all of those things but they're still a little bit on the outside in many ways because of um, just their whole demeanours, their their friendship, the intensity of their friendship, how they stick together and then also the fact that they are living slightly outside of the campus itself but I do find that sense of place for the campus, uh, for the students, for the parties they're going through and in particular one of the characters, Diana, is um, like a really good artist so the place where she uh, takes her art classes and is practicing her art all the t all the time they call it the den and I feel like that has a very strong sense of place within the college itself and just between the two characters as well like it's very they're both so opposite in so many different ways where you know you have Diana who was the girl who was terrorized by her brother growing up and you'd think that she'd be the one that would be a little bit more anxious and need more protecting and maybe be a bit meek where in actual fact she is like the bigger stronger more confident and outspoken outspoken character in many ways where Aurel who is the one who grew up in like you know a very loving family has parents while her parent like her mother is quite famous and she's always kind of been compared to her mother in many ways her mother still like loved her so much growing up but because of all of that as well Aurel seems to have like a lot of problems when it comes to I don't know maybe just like being more herself in many ways like she she finds it very hard to know who she is um on her own and when she does find herself on her own very quickly she finds herself you know again being compared to her mother or you know being attached to her mother in some way so she's very kind of she's weaker in many ways she's she's very quiet she's very shy she's quite anxious about things and we do see some of her anxiety she's kind of turning a little bit to like party drugs in a little way and um, not too much so far but it's definitely kind of implied a little bit that sometimes in terms of trying to escape herself and her reality and her feelings. I'm, I'm really interested again to see how it keeps going. We're seeing kind of some of the cracks in the relationships but also some like the, the strength between the girls too and some of the motion, some of the the moments that really cemented their relationship together. Like it starts off with a very intense moment between the two of them and um, that bonded their friendship. So I'm really interested to kind of keep going and uh, see, see where else it brings. Wednesday morning and I'm glad to say that I have finally finished Stargazer. So I managed to do a good bit of reading last night and I finished this and yeah there's a lot of emotions going on so I wanted to wait until this morning to kind of try and talk through my feelings and some of my thoughts about what was going on. Obviously there'll be no spoilers but I will say like I felt like my heart was a little bit like my emotions were a bit um wrought by the time like this had finished but in like a good way in a way that like I'd been invested in the story I'd been invested in the characters and just seeing kind of how they ended up and what happened to them and some of the decisions they made at the end um yeah I was kind of like on not really the edge of my seat but like my soul felt a little bit like twisted or something uh watching them make the decisions that they did. So the story just kind of continues on with Diana and Aurel in college and then we're seeing Diana uh, find her kind of voice as an artist and Aurel is really struggling and is a little bit lost and the one anchor that she has is Diana and their friendship and it feels like this is a really, really like strong point in her life where we're seeing Diana start to kind of step outside of that and see more of like what she could do or what she could be and 
how in different ways she could she could step away from Aurel, but she can also use Aurel for her own benefit. So it was really interesting kind of reading this and seeing like obviously this is like a case of a toxic kind of female friendship that like you know <laughs> not everyone would have but it, there's also like a lot, so many elements of friendship in here like the complexities that is a, particularly a female friendship I feel or I don't know maybe you were normal and had like normal friends growing up but I definitely uh, like I think a lot of people like a lot of women in, in as like in particular um have a lot of different experiences with friendships growing up um, and I'm definitely no stranger to that I've had so many up and down friendships growing up as a teenager and then as a young person until you know I found like my core group of friends that I have now which are like a small group of friends but they're people who I obviously trust in my life but I've had also kind of friends who you know where I felt like small or bullied or not heard in different ways and just different friendship dynamic group dynamics that didn't suit me and it wasn't until like maybe I was out of them that I realized that I was better off without them that kind of way and they're all really hard decisions you have to make growing up and I feel like you could see a lot of this happening um, in this book Diana like really she like when she went to get what she wanted like she was always going to get what she wanted she is determined like no matter what even if it means using her her best friend in certain ways that might not be particularly um good or like you know acceptable by society in a way I guess um she was going to do it and then you see Aurel and it was just there was like this real sadness in this book kind of seeing how diminished and small Aurel gets throughout the by the end of the book and how she allows herself to be really taken over like she doesn't really know what to do with her life she she feels so small she feels so like she doesn't feel like herself she feels like she's a part of everyone else's story and to Diana she becomes Diana's muse and in ways where like everything is out of her control and she's like no control over her own life and we see her become so diminished with that and how she ends up losing herself in like a haze of, of drug party drugs and drink and and people seeing it and people reaching out to her and not being able to help her and I just felt that was all done so well in this book and like really all those feelings and the helplessness and the fog that she was behind like it definitely felt at times when with Aurel like when she was she was going through like all of her experiences it always felt like there was almost like a, a glass wall between her and everyone else. One other thing I wanted to talk about in this book as well which I found really interesting is we're obviously in the world of art with Diana and she is this really really talented artist and she starts finding that Aurel is her muse when it comes to the type of art that she's creating and it's really interesting seeing how this plays out for both Diana and Aurel in terms of it really lifts her like Diana up and almost crushes Aurel down in different ways and this is part of how Aurel kind of becomes smaller and more diminished as the, the story goes on and I found this through a really con good like interesting conversation and like opinions I guess and um, even just in my own head around artists and muses and where consent comes into that where you know when does it become exploitative in a way to to use someone as your muse when they might not necessarily have given permission in the first place or be comfortable with some of the things that you're portraying them or how you're using their image in certain ways and this was definitely all thrown up in this book as well um, and I found it a really really interesting conversation and as someone who isn't really in the art world or know much about the art world um, I did find it interesting in in how like things fell into place for Diana with her art and yet Aurel was the one that was seemed to be inspiring it seemed to be the main driver behind this type of art yet she was being crushed down by it for my soul a little bit but I still really really enjoyed it and yeah I just love this like gritty look of female friendship and you know how you could have this like like really intense female friendship but it might not necessarily be the best thing for you yeah I gave this like a 4.5 out of 5 stars really I did really really enjoy reading it and um yeah I definitely recommend it for people who like just like a kind of a grittier look of female friendships the complexities of female friendship um you know it, it's it's more I guess a contemporary or literary fiction rather than anything like thriller or um like suspense or anything like that it's, it's it's very much more of a contemporary type of book so that's everything for this vlog now that i finished it i can uh, start editing it and hopefully get it up by tomorrow and um, tonight or tomorrow so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um as always uh, please let me know what you guys think if you guys have read this book if you want to read this book and um, what you guys are reading at the moment if you have any recommendations i would love to know thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys again next time